this weekend's edition of Mox News. I'm Tia Roach. And I'm Sam Anderson. UTC police investigate a sexual assault case that reportedly happened on a campus dorm. Police say the incident happened Monday at the Stoffel Apartments. Investigators say the alleged victim and attacker knew each other. Officers say this is an ongoing investigation. We will follow the story and update you as more information is released. Do you know what to do if there is an emergency on campus? The UTC system alert can keep you informed. Safety officials ran a test this week on the system, sending out 18,000 texts and 30,000 emails. To sign up, go to the utc.edu website and look for the emergency preparedness link. The Women's Center celebrated Women's Equality Day by hosting FemFest at Heritage Plaza. Assistant Director Cassie Nice said this event was meant to commemorate the accomplishments of women in the feminist movement. So today is Women's Equality Day, which that is an event in honor of when the 19th Amendment was ratified in 1920, giving women the right to vote. So today we're celebrating 95 years of women having the right to have a voice in their government. So today's really just a celebration. We're doing a carnival theme, inviting our students to come visit a bunch of wonderful organizations. Women's Action Council facilitator Savannah Hildebrand helped out at FemFest by telling students what the event is all about. Supporting or encouraging women's rights, women's equality. Um, what we're doing for the event itself is people can fill out their personal information and go to all these booths and they're going to explain a little bit about themselves and then they're going to stamp it and then there's different prizes that you can get based on how many that you get stamped. So, And then you can fill out the back and just let us know um, how we did pretty much with the event. To get involved with the Women's Center, you can go to utc.edu forward slash Women's Center. University of Tennessee students are asked to use the gender neutral pronouns such as Z. The Office for Diversity and Inclusion is asking students and faculty to use the pronouns in order to create a more inclusive campus. The Pride Center director is requesting that teachers ask each student to provide the name and pronoun he or she or Z wishes to be referred by. A new group celebrating the Hispanic culture is now on the UTC campus. The group is called Hola, which is Spanish for hello. Organizers have big plans for the year, including a Hispanic Heritage Month kickoff, an immigration talk, and more. Perhaps the most anticipated event is the Latin dance competition on October 14th. Jonathan Ramirez encourages people to get involved. Just uh, join us. Uh, we need more people. It, it doesn't even it doesn't matter your background or what ethnicity you come from. We just accept everyone. You know, everyone that wants to get involved with the Hispanic community. For Ola in general, what we want to do is stabilize it. Like you know how Freshman Senate and like SGA are all like stable. They're founded. We want Ola to be like that. We want Ola to have that structure. We want it to be in a situation where we don't have to worry. The group meets weekdays at 12 p.m. on the third floor of the UC. Career and Student Development Services hosted its annual part-time job fair in the Chattanooga Room on Tuesday. Students were encouraged to apply to the nearly 40 companies that attended the fair. Within the first hour, over 200 students signed in. Interim Director Donna Copper explains why so many companies attend the UTC job fair. Our students have a great reputation. Our employers tell us over and over again that they love the enthusiasm, they love the willingness to work, and so when one student graduates, they want to replace that student. The fair not only offered retail positions, but also positions in insurance, customer service, and even health care. OIC correspondent Christy Trentem explains their enthusiasm in seeking UTC students. Some of our most successful employees are those that saw out careers that were uh, related to uh, their uh, career paths that they were taking. A lot of students uh, started out part-time and then they went full-time later on um, and progressed throughout the company in different positions. Hundreds of students found out how to get involved on our campus by participating in OrgFest. The event was held around Heritage Plaza, where you could see the diverse ways our campus connects with students. If you missed the event, contact Student Development at this number, 425-4534, and find out how you can get involved. Students came by the Student Media Center Wednesday to see the news, radio, and newspaper organizations on campus. This includes Mox News, the Perch Radio Station, and the Echo Newspaper. These are all student-run and operated. 
For anyone interested in joining these groups, come to the first floor of the University Center next to the game room. This week, CAB decided to round off the first 15 days of the semester with a huge celebration, Paint You. Paint You is a glow dance party that many students attended at the Lock Miller Volleyball Court. The event included a DJ, many energized students, and buckets of glow-in-the-dark paint. CAB members pumped up the crowd by standing on the stage and spraying paint on students with water guns and buckets of paint. Though the security was present, that did not stop students from getting highly amped during the event. This event truly lined up campus and has had many students excited to see the return of the event and other plans that CAB has for the semester. The pop culture world has had many heartbreaks this year with news of celebrity relationships ending. We tackled the story on relationships in the celebrity world versus relationships in college this week in What's Pop and Mox. This year seems to be the year of breakups in the celebrity world. Courtney and Scott, Gwen and Gavin, Ariana and Big Sean, and Miranda and Blake were just a few of the couples that already decided to call it quits this year. Celebrities' relationships just set a lot of like unrealistic standards in the media, and then kids our age kind of look at it and think that we need a relationship like that. It's just an unrealistic expectation. Um, I think celebrity relationships are definitely like glamorized. I think it's not like what we see, but also like they can also be like worse than what we see. Like people can go out and look like they're perfect, but fight like crazy when they get home. Or we read magazines where people are getting divorced, but really they're happy as can be. So honestly, like I think we'll like never really know the truth when it comes to celebrities. I think that it's all a front. And look at everyone gets together and breaks up and everyone thinks that's how it's supposed to be. I mean, it's so easy for celebrities to get married and then get divorced. And then society or young kids look up to that like it's what we do, like get together, break up. It's not supposed to be like that. Marriage is sacred. Relationship wise, I mean, girlfriend, boyfriend, I don't think that would affect society as much. But when they go ahead and get married, like Wiz and Amber, Dude, he knew that wasn't finna last. Come on now, bruh. So since celebrity relationships are so unrealistic, what about college relationships? Uh, I think more than anything, it's more so like, how many people can you get with, or, um, you know, how much credit can you get for whoever you're talking to? It's not really like, um, it's not really anything that's taken seriously at all. College relationships, are, I mean, a relationship, it can be, I mean, it's a good thing. Relationships are a good thing. Like, it, it's a, I mean, they're mature. They, I mean, you can handle them differently. They help you. They help you calm down. If you have the right, if you find the right person, it's a great, it's a great thing to have. I mean, even in college, I mean, some people go into college not looking for a relationship. I mean, but relationships are great in my opinion. Me personally, I would rather not go to school with somebody I date because it's a lot of drama or like it's just it's just certain like aspects that you like should like commit to. I don't know. It just I don't think it'll work because people, you know, somebody might like that guy or people might not know. It's just it's hard to like, oh, they're doing this and you're not there. So I don't know. I'd rather not be in a relationship at the same college or just not relationship at all. <laughs> if you're in school, I feel like you shouldn't be focused on a relationship as much as your work. Because if you're in school and you're trying to, you have a high maintenance girlfriend or boyfriend, you're gonna be balancing the two. If you're majoring in nursing, it's gonna be kind of hard to manage a boyfriend. Or if I'm majoring in engineering, it's gonna be kind of hard to major, uh, manage a girlfriend. I think the real lesson here is whether you're in a relationship or not, always make sure to keep your studies first. That's all I have for you guys this week. Make sure to tune back next week to see what's poppin'. That does it for this edition of Mox News. Thank you for joining us. Check out our videos uploaded throughout the week to YouTube. We air on the UTC TV channel and housing channel 2.1. So tune in and have a great weekend from all of us here at Mox News. Yeah, we did it. Bender, bender, bender. <laughs> talk. Whisper. <laughs> talk, talk. Whisper. Whisper, talk.